about want to in the penalty area and Phoenix have certainly shown that industry around the penalty box. They just have to find that final touch, that final moment, and then they'll they'll be right as rain, I think. I mean, the, the confidence. Zanga trying to slip it through. Cortez has a step on the defender. Put up play by Galaxy 2, and it really deserved a better finishing pass across the top of the six. Nobody there but Vasquez. And he's going to thump it long. And oh boy, was that an opportunity for LA. The striker almost thought that the flag was going to go up as well as his comrades who were making a run towards the net, but it ended up staying down and an opportunity goes out wide for Vasquez again. Wants to put it on that left peg, but gets it back for Rigi. Looking to combine with... And he just pulled his shot, snatched his shot a little bit. A little bit more shake than bake there. The outside player, Rigi. Mike Phillips again from a corner. When's it gonna turn into something tangible? Left him in the game against the Monarchs about a week ago, but they were unable to find the equalizer, even one goal. And there's a bit of a miss hit, but it falls right to Fuji. Fuji trying to square it back across. Watson read it. Mendiola still loose in the box. And Ramage with a cool head plays it out to Rigi. And maybe an opportunity the other way. Cortez finding the feet of Rooney. For Wakasa. Stumbles a bit. Trying to find the foot of Rigi. Rigi giving a Arbitrary thumbs up. Soccer complex starting to get into it. Rigi. Zanga on the ball once again. Johnson's going up top alongside Bravo. At least that seems to be the my early impression of, of what the substitution has been. Judging his hard work. The challenge from Bravo, leaving it for Johnson, who is muscled off the ball momentarily, but somehow finds it again, taken down. Go up top and get yourself a hat trick, mate. <laughs> see the equalizer in the 91st minute, but here's Carlo Payonesa doing the dirty work. And the referee motioning for a goal kick. Games, he's going to find the right guy sooner or later. Yes, indeed. Finding out just how tough it was. Kurt Anolfo saying, hey, chopping and changing was really part of the job description as you had players called up to the senior team and players constantly coming through hard to get that Familiarity and stability with the same 11 week in and week out and change. That's part and parcel part of the trade at this level. And a wonderful platform here for these two clubs is Rio Fuji showing off some tidy footwork in the center of midfield. Supported nicely by Robert Castellanos making his second appearance for Los Dos. This young seat, just 17 years of age, Sam Rogers. And making a little bit of a foray forward from central defense into the half. Tolo, who's already scored, gets off a Decent cross, it's Mathers standing over the corner here for S2, Snedden on his line, and a good header away by but a sloppy ball across. Once again, caught in possession. Olsen with an easy interception. Chankum leading that front line. Good hard running from Zach Mathers. A lot of real estate in front of him, and a backtracking Robert Castellanos, averting disaster for the time being, but yet. And LA marking up at each post. Mathers a decent cross, right straight into the Heart of that, Los Dos defense, Snedden opts to punch, but Jose Agredo making his first appearance for Los Dos this young season. Here's Nohu Tolo, he scored the most recent of goals. Links up nicely with his countryman, Felix Chenkum, lays it back for Mathers, looking for some support, and he's got it from the right back, Nana Sinkum, surveying his options. Good one, too, this time from Para. They've made some progress, but it's Castellanos, perfectly positioned for Los Dos for the second half. It might be more than just a talk, perhaps a tactical rethink as well. We shall see. Plenty of time to get back into this one. Any indicator of how these first 45 had gone there. 
showing any signs of that, that's for sure. As Pata's drifted over to the left-hand side, Castellanos has come out from his central role, and he's aided by Juarez. In a 2v1, Seattle keep it on. Final minute plus added on time here at the track and field stadium in Carson. Castellanos links nicely. And looking a little bit more cohesive here as we begin the second half. Diallo, the Frenchman. They'll bring up the heavy artillery. Is Diallo in there, a little bit short on that corner. Kept alive in a scramble. And coming away with it is David Olsen for Chenkum. The man who opened the scoring. A real tidy player, Mathers, at the center of everything. And Chenkum let it run, nicely read in the center of defense by Castellanos, who is impressed tonight. The LA attacker, the referee waves it on as play opens up for Chenkum. Flag is down for the Cameroonian as he'll get some support. Nice little run for Mathers and a lot of work to do for here. Plays it out in front and LA weather that storm very well. Coaches to cut their teeth. Combative stuff on the left. Tolo holds his ground well. Not relinquishing any ground. Lonergan. Well, Park Rangers hanging tight for a little bit before Brandon Allen exploded for a hat trick in that one. No call, and we play on. I'm not sure I agree with Juan Guzman there. I think that was a penalty. There was absolutely no contact with the ball. Jorge Hernandez seemed to set up the defender. I thought they get interception there for Tenari as Jamison the fourth was into space. Now Velo looking for Etienne Jr. and Ariano over to slide it out. They're uh, quite as new to some teams, and the level has risen. USL teams have wire miles, and they've got to find a way here at some point this season if they want to push their way into the playoffs to win away from home. Right now, it's not looking good. Negative 11 goal differential. 11 goals allowed, none scored so far, and three in some change road playoff. And just from a mental point of view, Andrew, they started the year 1-0-1. Now, five straight winless. Trying to get back into winning form in New York Red Bulls 2. Jumped on them early. Oh, turns it over, but gets his own intercepted pass back. To the feet of Lewis, who comes off that right wing. Etienne Jr. now. New York Red Bulls 2 moving into the attacking phase together. LA Galaxy 2 sitting very deep with about nine behind the ball right now. O'Toole's able to break through. Castellanos. With the slide tackle, he puts it out for a corner kick. Once again, this cup three. A homegrown player out of the Red Bull Academy. His brother, RJ Allen, playing for the enemy across the river, NYCFC. Big time soccer family out of New Jersey. Naive. They cannot give the ball up in those positions. And those are the sorts of plays that Red Bull 2 feasted on in 2016. They absolutely destroyed teams when they gave up the ball in their own half. And here's a... The African Nations Cup qualifying for that side. Strong play there from Mariano. Brandon Allen is no joke up there up top. He can hold the ball up, and that was a tussle. The young man came out of that with the ball. Just 19 years of age, wearing the captain's armband tonight. A real honor for him. Mendiola in a foot race, and Abidor beats him to it. Ariano, the four... Uji brings this one down. Abidor is able to... Tackle it off his foot. Now O'Toole going long for Etienne Jr., who's onside. He gets beaten to it by Castellanos, and then out for a corner kick. Castellanos wants his goalkeeper to come out there. You can see him gesturing to Eric Lopez, saying, hey, that's your area. Come claim that. Read that pass earlier. And here comes EA. Brandon Allen with Georgetown. Ruben Basulovic with Georgetown as well. And it's been tough for Zico Lewis 
to start this season, but as you said, we've seen the great flashes from him. Velo and Allen able to force the turnover. Velo now with the cross towards Etienne Jr. and slid away by Ariano. Minute of play and scored in the fourth as Hernandez takes this corner kick. It's headed away by Bezicourt. And now Velo asking to come back on from the sideline and remains furious. We can confirm the anger as Brandon Allen's trying to charge away. Great recovery for LA. Higher level players, I mean more experienced players, mm -hmm. do the same thing. We've seen Patrick Vieira try and play out of the back with NYCFC <laughs> over it's and over thing. again Look, against New LA York Galaxy's Red Bulls. two identity is that they want to play. They want to have the ball at their feet. They want to play it on the ground. This isn't a team that's going to lump it forward. Even when they have created chances on the break, much of it has come from finding feet and combining quickly in midfield before breaking. As absolutely silky on the ball, and he's helped spark a number of these counterattacks. New York looking to create a chance once more. It was O'Toole and Allen. I have a lot of experience with that. I, I was very fortunate at a young age and as I grew in my career that it was consistency, consistently in the starting 11. But I'll give you LA Galaxy 2 starting lineups in the past three weeks have been below 20 years old. They were 19 and seven months a week ago, 19 and four months a week before that, and an even 19 years old about a month ago. Two minutes. You would obviously like to see him be consistent, but at the same time, let the boys play a little bit as Eric Bird finding Garcia on the right wing. Garcia putting the moves on here. As the service doesn't get across, falls to James. James will have a strike blocked in front of the running. Charlie Ward does, and he's rewarded with the ball. Wharton in tons of space now, really opening up Los Dos. Eric Bird with the left-footed strike. It's blocked in front by Castellanos. And Eric Bird was offside. The flag is up on the... As good as I've seen anybody in the league so far this season, particularly with those long arms and legs. That's also very important on, on Dylan's part. He needs to, be, as a striker, he needs to be ready for anything. He needs to be on his toes. That's why he's there as a, as a poacher. Well, he had the strike on goal, but they hand to Brown, able to, can RGV get the equalizer and take a point at home? Or Los Dos going to, uh, oh, here we go here with Garza marching in, and he tried to center the service to the captain in a, a sliding tackle on the ball by Jorge Hernandez wiped out that chance. Hell dumps that ball back in. Sorry, a great first touch to settle. Sorry, pressing forward towards his left. Rolls one to David Olson. Bailey goes down. David Olson dribbles back inside. He'll let one rip, and that's deflected away by Castellanos. L presses forward with it. Goes up the line towards Ulysses. Inside for Para. Para spins out of pressure. Sends it across towards Stevens. And Castellanos once more will shepherd that ball toward the touchline. Up the left side for Nana Sinkum. Olsen. Obvious there. Josh Turnley scoops it back towards Castellanos. Zico Bailey. Bailey does enough to get it past Olsen. Continues forward. Covarrubias. Back to Sneddon. Angela. Sorry, applying some pressure here. Javorn Stevens kind of see if he can sneak up on the back of Covarrubias. Galaxy having trouble getting out of their own end. Ray Sari runs through a tackle, has Stevens to his front. Sari taking his space, chops it out to Stevens. Stevens off his left foot and wins another corner. Great work from Ray Sari to win that off Corvarubius. Driving forward, he just has Javorn Stevens to work with. Take a look at it here. Picks out Javorn Stevens. If he waits maybe just a little bit longer, there's par on the far post, but. I think he thought that run was going Sorry from the left side toward the back post over the head of Stevens. That was Josh Turnley, first one to it. And then Narbonne collides with Rio Fuji in the air. Nana Sinkum serves in a secondary ball that's headed away by Castellanos. Rodriguez L on the ground. That takes a deflection. Falls to Zico Bailey. 
he chips it out to Zubac. That's another ball to break pressure from Ray Sari. Just dropping in, helping out in the midfield. Ball settled by Olsen on the long throw. 6-2, the 19-year-old Cameroonian center back. Not afraid to mix it up. It's from Yuande, maybe he knows Rodriguez. A couple of the S2 players, you never know. That ball left in space, David Olsen running out, gets a foot to it, and it's cleaned up by Castellanos. Olsen stays down. Junior Gonzalez, assistant coach here last year, now head coach at Rio Grande Valley. Currently taking up some space here. To Zubak. Brilliant tackle from Olsen. Olsen runs through a challenge from Covarrubias. Pressing forward. Javorn Stevens into the box. And Castellanos cleans that up. Great work from David Olsen. Javorn Stevens first touch just gets away from him a little bit. Excellent run by David Olsen. 40th minute. Nanasinkum throws into Narbonne. See another replay there. Yeah, just a little bit too much. Corner of the game for S2. And he comes in the 41st minute. Ray Sari trots to the far sideline. Sari's service, unlike Los Dosis, has been there. It's been on point today. Just haven't found that link up yet, Aaron. Yeah, Los Dos have done very well winning every single challenge in here. Ball curls up above the six, and that one won in the air by Castellanos. Narbonne heads it back inside. Para settles underneath it. Castellanos, the second header. Zanga looking to dribble clear. Denzo Ulissi. Ulissi sends one toward the back post. Olsen was rising to meet it, and all he met was Castellanos. Both Castellanos and Angola have done very well clearing away any S2 cross in the air. When Quick outlet. Thinking that well, this keeper's not really sure of what he's doing, and he's going to be more unsure now. So that unsettles the entire team. Here comes Colorado Springs, a good opportunity as they take it into the area. Nice job by Snet coming off his line. He'll collect it. So if it's played to the head and there's a flick on, it's it's a good play. Possession here. The Zango pulls down quickly by Kim. Good idea, maybe a little bit too much on that one when he had the outlet on the right right side, and here comes the counter back the other way. Here's Suggs pushing into the Galaxy defense. He'll play into the area. Watch out here for the opportunity. Snedden able to get on that one as Galaxy defensively were getting tangled up a bit. I tell you what, it was a really, really good run in behind by Freighter, and, and it looked like Robert Castellanos was outdone. Made a nice, nice, nice angled recovery run to just kind of break up the play. Gets enough on the ball, it allows them to come out and gather. But right now, the nice job with the header clearing away by Angola, but not far enough. Here's Suggs. Watched by Jorge Hernandez, trying to turn the corner. Suggs gets the cross away, almost found Cam. Near side it comes for Suggs. Here's Freighter, the goal scorer. It'll come hand down to Prue, his attempted goal is blocked. Amaya get off the ball by Cazares. Side, side. Caesar, side of the area. Back Cazares, out, Cazares. Stop. Stop. Cazares. Kivy overlapping. He'll find him. To get through one defender. Still has the side of the six broken up for a moment and then finally cleared out of play for the corner kick. You're staying home anyway. So you might as well just drop Kovarubias back a little bit more and, and advance Zanga. And then you would have a little more balance, in my opinion, in midfield. They'll work the left side this time with Turnley. He's got plenty of room here. I would take up the space. Now he's got Barrera closing him. Back out to Angela. All the way back to the keeper, Lopez. Big kid, Lopez. Good size. He's done a really good job in, in the four starts that he's had. But defensively. Clemente will come back to his goalkeeper now. Hall. He'll knock it into the Galaxy defense. Knocked down by Custianos. Very easy for Lopez. He'll pick up. Very important for the young goalkeepers to 
fundamentally be sound, and that's what Lopez is. Nothing looks like an adventure, right? I, I, I mean, I, I can't say enough about his four appearances, his first four professional appearances for this club. He's done a great job, and, and tonight he continues that. Covarrubias. Rio Fuji out of Blackwood. All USL matches are available live, free, and in HD on YouTube. Follow the action on the USL YouTube channel. Another player down, and here comes another yellow card. Not a closed-off game whatsoever, and the brilliant Pasher continues his fine work. Plays it for an onside. Gonzalez pulls it back across, and they nearly carved open Los Dos again. Montez will switch it. Hansen now joining the attack. Hansen, a short ball for Arboleda. Looking to spin away from pressure. He does. He keeps it in. Good work. Victor Arboleda. He's in. Arboleda plays it across. Cleared out for a corner kick. Good defensive work by Robert Castellanos. That was great. Bovis he was tracking. Great work by Arboleda. But, you know, I think Hansen's the guy. Here we go. Look at that. What a great turn. And, he, you know, you can see him looking up. I'm looking. I'm looking. Somebody make a run. And a minute against Colorado. But he's starting to see a little bit more time. And, you know, goals like the one he scored earlier will certainly oh. make... Caleb Porter and the staff take notice. The attacking half momentarily. Covarubias. Now switched out to the far side of the field. You know what two, two can't allow Galaxy to do now is get back into it with another goal. I mean, they've got to keep it at this score and then go on and score a two or three more, so... This next 10, 15 minutes are going to be very... That assist. Turner. Galaxy played a little possession here. Angola. Long ball played down the line. Michael just clear it out. You can see the throw in here in the 62nd minute. Taken quickly by Arboleda. It's a back from Farfan. Victor with it on his right foot. Playing it in, headed away. Odds it down, Arboleda. Back out wide to Farfan. Farfan plays it across. And there's a foul against Williams. And unfortunately, too much on that ball. Back towards midfield, and here comes the counterattack. Fernandez playing this one ahead. He'll find Kondrakin, and out of play. Early on, Galaxy positive start, really working to, to get up the field and get it. Corrales, good job by Hernandez, closing him down. Play back now, collected by Fernandez. He'll run into one defender. It'll come loose. He'll keep it and play on the left side. Collie Street. And taking off the ball. Nice job. Another goal kick here. Or is it offside, actually? On that one? Yeah, well, searching, searching a little bit. He, he may have had a better option. Here comes Tulsa on the attack as they push it to the right side. Careful here. Kimura pushing up into the, into the attack. The opportunity towards goal, and it's whiffed upon over the bar and out of play. That was a good chance for Calistri. In fact, it might have been deflected for a corner kick here. He was what, seven, eight yards out. Cassianos actually slides in last minute, makes a diving hey, makes a diving hey. play and just gets a little deflection on the ball and sends it over, sends it over the crossbar of, of Eric Lopez. Spend away from the goalkeeper. Referee gives the go ahead. Here's the cross into the area towards the spot. Knocked out, not far enough though. Another shot to go right on Lopez. Wallace, Craven. Gonzalez to Angulo, who fires off the le left foot. And a nice stop there by Robert Castellanos. Nice defending there by Castellanos. Chaplo, able to play it on the left side. There's a lot of space there. This will come ahead. This is a good ball for Fernandez. Good job defensively. Castellanos is there. I leave his feet on the shot. Here comes Orange County again on the attack. 
numbers forward into the area intended for Fernandez. Good job by Castellanos, able to clear it out. It'll come out to Covarrubias. Back to Sordo. Again, Joe Franco, the former teammates here with Galaxy 2, Franco and Sordo. Really thought Sordo was going to break in with the senior side. This is better, better spacing here from Galaxy 2. Fuji knocks it back over Rubius. Also better speed of play. Bond into the area, he'll take the defender with him. Top of the box it goes, cleared away. Angola. Castellanos. Turnley. Nate Smith, Castellanos, Mendiola, good ball on the 